Hello friends, today I'm going to share how I clean my fridge. So let's take a peek inside first. I'm going to be getting groceries tomorrow and I wanted to clean it out before it, you know, before I get those in tomorrow. I get my groceries delivered. Um, it's not empty, certainly not by any means, but there are some things, I think a couple things that need to go and definitely it needs to be cleaned. Um, I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see it. Let me get up close. See all that cloudiness? It's coming out as cloudy, but it's just a mess on that top shelf. I don't know if it's fingerprints um, from us reaching in and getting stuff or maybe the bottom of the milk was wet, you know, things like that. Um, but there's marks and crumbs and uh, definitely some crumbs down here. To me, it's amazing and there's something underneath this bottom, uh, bottom drawer. <laughs> it's, it's just amazing to me how a fridge can get so dirty. I mean, it's just, it's crazy, but... It needs to be clean, so I thought I would show you how I do that. Now, uh, the freezer, I'm going to give that a wiping out too and uh, organize it. It's really not too dirty. It doesn't have any um, marks or uh, crumbs in it or anything like that, but it is messy. Okay, so... I am going to get started and the first thing I'm going to do is show you what I um, mix up to clean it out with. Okay, so to clean out the fridge, I make a mixture of white vinegar, baking soda, and just a drop of whatever um, dish soap, soap that I'm making at the or that I'm making. I don't make my own dish soap uh, that I'm using at the time. Okay, so I am going to fill up this side of the sink with some really, well, as warm as I can stand it, water. And I am going to be using my dish gloves to do this because my hands are in terrible shape. They're so dry. I've been washing them so much and doing so much cleaning that I really need to um, wear the gloves whenever possible. Okay, so this is about a half a cup of baking soda. And I wasn't too um, exact in the measurement. I just eyeballed it. And then I'm going to take a cup of vinegar. And again, it's just kind of a scant cup, but that's fine, whatever. Now, as you can see, that causes that nice little chemical reaction. And then right now, I am using the Method dish, dish soap in the grapefruit scent. I love this grapefruit scent, especially for the spring and the summer. And I just literally just put one, like maybe just like a half a pump from that in there. Now, I'm going to mix this up. And I don't need a ton of water in here. I think that looks about right. I'm gonna shut that off. And I'm gonna put on my gloves and I'm just using a dish cloth. You could use a microfiber cloth or whatever. Um,
door and I hope you guys can see this. That's a pretty gross shelf. I keep um, fresh parsley in the fridge and a cup of water so as it dries out or you know a piece falls out uh, I end up always having a, a dirty shelf wherever I keep it so that's what that is from. Okay, a fresh, clean, organized fridge. Uh, I think a clean, organized fridge just makes you feel so much better about life in general. <laughs> um, let me get up a little bit closer. Nice and clear and shiny, no marks, everything is organized. I replaced my old bowl of um, oh, baking soda. That's what I'm trying to think of. Baking soda. I put in a new bowl of that. And as you can see, this is pretty much like the bread shelf. This is eggs, um, extra butter, and uh, like if we have any snacks or um, that need to be refrigerated and or leftovers. This is the beverage shelf. Um, we love the oat milk and we usually have a lot more milk in the house. And then uh, there's an apple juice back there and my Brita uh, water pitcher that I absolutely love. And then as we go down this drawer is um, cheeses. Um, if we had lunch meat this is where it would go. Back there is chicken sausage from Aldi's. It does not need to be frozen and it has a very long um, shelf date, so, or refrigerator date, I guess you could say. So I keep it in there. Um, the next drawer is our veggie um, drawer, and right now there's just some onion and carrots. And then down here is the fruit. And we just have four apples and an orange until tomorrow. And then on the door, um, there's wine and applesauce, um, some fig jam, and I love keeping this stuff in the house, uh, the chicken base, in case I run out of um, the containers of chicken broth. And then we love pickles, so there's dill and uh, bread and butter. And then our organic Worcestershire, I think I said that right, organic chocolate syrup, and real lemon juice in case I run out of lemons. And actually, that is just about out also. <laughs> One more serving in there, and that's it. And then this is for condiments, basically. It's mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard, barbecue sauce, relish and I like to keep a spray butter in the house not the best for you but I use it occasionally 
and then up there is any um, open sticks of butter and uh, my favorite spreadable uh, butter that's Simple Truth Organic from Kroger. Okay, and then we can shut this so it doesn't start beeping at us. And here is the freezer. Um, this is my first time having a side-by-side -side fridge. I moved in this home in October and um, this is the fridge I picked out. I had wanted, I was playing with the idea between white and stainless steel and uh, the white one out. I just wanted my kitchen super bright and uh, my mom had had so many problems with her stainless steel appliances that even though I know they're really popular and they look good in other people's homes, I went with the all white and I'm really glad I did. Um, however, I kind of wish that I had a different laid out freezer. Um, side by side is, I think it's really great if, you, if it's really big. And this isn't tiny, it's much bigger than the last fridge I had, but it's just hard to, um, to organize, I guess. So I try to keep the vegetables in that um, bottom bin, and then I just separate frozen and meat. Um, and you know, when I have frozen bread like I do now, that 21 grain there, and frozen fruit, I just kind of split it up um, between the shelves. I am thinking about getting some uh, containers from the Dollar Tree and uh, seeing if I can't have a little bit better organization by using those. And then on the door, I have um, some frozen fruit at the bottom, some frozen juice, and more frozen juice at the top. And actually, what I could do here is take these cranberries and put them down there and take these tongs and put those next to it. That might open up some room there and leave it a little bit organized. So there you have it. That is my, um, my fridge cleaning. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. And uh, if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Until next time, have a great one. Bye-bye.